Hey, I know we took a week off last week. Um, life, internet, <laughs> yeah, Xfinity. So we're back this week. Uh, the main, the topic for this week is old anime movies, classic anime movies. Um, how you doing, Dwayne? How you doing? I'm good, man. Uh, you gotta give me a minute, though. Ah. <laughs> I, I know, heard, right? I heard a little man in the background. I heard a little man in the background, man. It happens. Go ahead. I'll ramble on and stuff. Edwin, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? I see you there in the chat. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. Wait, I thought you didn't, I thought you weren't getting that because you wasn't uh, uh dealing with that. <laughs> you wasn't in the mood for that type of game. It's pretty much Assassin's Creed Japan. With the samurai element. So yeah, so this week's topic, um until my my, my co host comes back. Oh uh, yeah, that steel book, man. I know you love them steel books. So yeah, so this week's topic, uh like I said, is uh classic anime. Uh we're going over three classic animes this week. It's going to be uh, Jinro, The Wolf Brigade, uh, Ninja Scroll, and uh, Vampire Hunter D. So all of these came out uh, late 80s and uh, and throughout the 90s. Uh, Jinro, Wolf Brigade, which they actually made it into a live action in, uh, I think, 2017. Which is actually pretty accurate, to the, except for the ending. Um, came out in 99. Uh, Ninja Scroll, that's a pretty old one. That came out in '93, and uh, Vampire Hunter D, uh, that one came out in 1983. So, yeah, so it's spread out all through the and, 80s and since I was in the one. Yeah, well, I'm talking about the old, the, the older one. Okay. But uh, I and I'm also just rambling. I was just rambling to you, come back. We good? Yeah, all good. We 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 okay for now. <laughs> we might have a mini guest soon, but we'll see. Okay, Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. Uh, we, we're not talking about that one, but we kind of went hard this week on these last couple weeks on the old movies, bro. Like I, I, I watch uh, Street Fighter Two. I watch Alpha. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I was way too hyped. The problem living by yourself, man. <laughs> you now that you, you're comfortable is uh. You get loud. And I'm in an apartment, so I'm like hoping my neighbors don't come over and start knocking on my door because I'm getting hyped. My boy Ken pulled up in a Ferrari. And I was texting you when that happened. Bruh. I mean, you're, <laughs> I'm trying to work. <laughs> and I'm watching Scrim like, oh, that boy. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. Anyway. So, first. uh, So, the first one we're going to go over is uh, Vampire Hunter D. Are we gonna hit that one first? Or? Yeah, let me, let me let me hit Vampire on D. Okay, put up my cool graphic here at the bottom for everyone on Twitch to see. Uh, the little vampire. This is a really good art because it is not how it looks in the sh in the movie. <laughs> so, what you think about it, man? You go ahead and start this one off. Va vampire on D. Um, you know what? I I loved it, man. It was one of the first anime movies. That vampire on D. Oh, um, the first anime movie that I I watched. I think I watched that one right after I watched Cowboy Bebop. Yo, it was it it, it was an eye opener, and I'll tell you why. Because obviously, it's the old school anime kind of things. 
So there's like no filter. <laughs> so you go from you go from um from watching anime like Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon and and um what was the other one? Car Captain Sakura. You watch right? Car Captain Sakura dog? Man, I love that shit. Don't don't judge me. <laughs> Hey, we don't judge here because we all be watching some craziness, but I, I'm just surprised to hear that you watch Car Captain. But then again. Yeah, it was good. It was all. I think if it had the, the, the length and depth as Pokemon, it probably would have been just as good. Wait, what but because it was, it was more targeted to like seven year olds to 11 year olds. Oh, okay. It never Car really Captain. got that. that 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 thing oh okay um, so uh yeah bro yeah man uh vampire hunter d i haven't watched that in years man so i, I pretty much mm. watching it uh this week was almost like watching it for the first time again because i man i mm-hmm. can remember nothing dude straight off the bat straight off the bat into Carmilla! <laughs> <Into> vampire <laughs> Angel of Vampire straight raped this girl man i'm like what the hell <laughs> bring her to me so she could be my plaything and uh so the art style is that old, that really. I, I, when the one I watched is the one that came on in '83. So is that? If you. Oh, that, that one. Classic. The extra, the extra graphic the one. Extra graphic <laughs> one, man. T- titties flying out of stuff, and I'm just like, it's amazing how it's changed in so long, and uh, yeah, between now and uh, movies back then. Um, yeah, because because even in Bloodlust. Even though Bloodlust was more focused on the love story between the human and the vampire, there was still an element of gore to it and and rawness, you know, to really captivate the 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 essence of disparity in that world. Compared to the nineteen eighty three, right? Was like you are you are you are aft. Yeah, you're, you're straight up aft. Because <laughs> vampires ruin everything. Pretty it much, was, they took over that whole line, and uh, yeah, they, they were ruling right. it pretty much. That and then, it. and then I, I I hate to do this, but the only um, movie I could compare them to that we're talking about is Goblin Slayer, because you look at Goblin Slayer, yeah, Goblin. you look at the artwork, uh-huh. and, and you look at the story, and you look at the somewhat uh, similarities between the two. But yet, you still see that Goblin Slayer is completely watered down. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's also like a recent. It's still a recent anime, in Goblin Slayer. So, yeah. and uh, I think we've all just come to uh, accept that that's the style they're using now, because obviously mm-hmm. they're on they are mainstream TV a lot more and stuff. So. Yeah, boy. But they still did some madness. And if you want to know what we think about Goblin Slayer, check the episode before because we went in on that thing. That thing was fun. That was a fun episode. That was a it fun was. episode. Um, yeah, so so with Vampire Hunter D, um, the other thing I liked about it as well was the story was really in depth, man. Like, I think that was one of the first anime movies that I watched outside of General that. Bro, had bro. more talking than action, mm-hmm. and but I it, was fully captivated. Yeah, he was still, like, yeah, oh he was still engaged. Uh, it, was, it was so good, which is um, cool because a lot of anime tend, you know, people tend to focus on the uh, fighting. You know, yeah, if, if it's anything, uh, a lot of uh, if it's not a lot of fighting, sometimes you tend to, sometimes it tends to die off. Uh, one of my uh, Marvel, sorry. Dude, we talking anime. Well, <laughs> I was gonna say, well, they also have that blade. But uh, for example, uh, Ghost in the Episode Shell, the, one. <laughs> the, the Ghost in the Shell movies. Uh, sometimes in some of those movies, what happens is that there's so much dialogue that you tend to like. Well, it's almost like too yeah. much dialogue. Even though that yeah. Ghost in the Shell is 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 dope, but there's sometimes it's too much dialogue. And uh, have, you, and, have, you, have you seen the new ones? On Netflix? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's in the future. Yeah, it, it is. It has that weird art style that they uh, that Netflix uses. So. Yeah. But, um, I, I promise to watch it. 
Yeah, mm. I, I are not. You know, I burned through that. It's funny because like midway they released the English, so I was watching it in Japanese like half of it. Then I went to mm-hmm. sleep, woke up the next morning, and it was in English. That that, that threw me off. Um, <laughs> so with uh, Vampire Hunter D, especially uh, you see blood, like a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, it was what was cool was that you remember you remember that um that advertisement from Barbados for the, the the drink the red drink uh, before it was cola man juicy oh wow and I how well. and how the man used to open the juicy and all the juicy used to fill out every time I see a vampire bite somebody in that vampire <laughs> I used to cut my money like how much blood are you carrying it just <laughs> They weren't even biting arteries. <laughs> it was it was a little over the top, but uh, you know it was the, it's supposed to be dramatic. You know, it's supposed to be true, dramatic. but that was that was that was an over exaggeration, man. Okay, so uh, let's go over the characters. Uh, in this, there's mainly, I'll say, if five five characters that you should yeah. really give a crap. Well, there was one guy, but he dies. Uh, you had the uh, main girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, you had D, which yeah. uh, which I like how they kept him pretty much mysterious for most of the point until you realize like close to the end who he actually was. Yeah, you had that annoying daughter of the elder vampire. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I am a noble. No, you ain't. You half breed. You you you. But she she couldn't let it go, man. She was drinking you that Kool Aid, bro. Like was, you are, you are not in prison. He's like, so man, that. it is. You have all the pride of a noble, but you're not. <laughs> That's what the old dude taught her. Yeah. She was like, I am, I am. No, you, you, your mom was a human, but it's cool. Nothing wrong with that. Um. You had the the little brother. Or was was he really family there, or, or was he just? She was just taking I think, care. I think he was adopted. Oh, okay. Um, he was turned, but he he wasn't. Then you had you had yeah. the uh, that ghoul henchman that uh, tried to use the candle essence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and then uh, I think I think that's pretty much the, the main character. Then you had the doctor, <laughs> the doctor guy that was trying to protect her. It lasted of all but like twenty minutes. Really, it was twenty minutes. No, so I, I think it was twenty minutes. He like showed up, and then that's you know he was like a a, a, a slave. So. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I mean, to me. To oh, me, and you had the mayor, the mayor of the Tong's son, the blonde head dude. That's still. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the thing about it is right, and and I, I find this kind of fascinating. You have all these characters, but really and truly, you can only remember D. I, I remember the girl. The man girl. Only because she was annoying. I, yeah, but like I, I didn't understand how she fell in love so fast. The, it's, the movie's only an hour. <laughs> She's like, I can't live without you. You just met the dude. <laughs> they like rushed that. In a world, look, look. But, in a world where chivalry is dead, literally, literally. <laughs> That that that's sexy me. I guess. So let me. I'm just go over the plot real quick. So pretty much, uh, this girl she's out hunting. In the beginning, uh, butts the elder. He does his thing to her. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Goblin Slayer style. Yeah. Pretty much sets it up <laughs> so that uh, <laughs> pretty much sets it up so that she would uh be his bride. So this dude's like old. I guess he just marries like uh human women, so mm-hmm. he could uh. You know, have some fun for the next four or five years until he's done with them. Mm. And, <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> you know, all right, you bear children stuff to continue the vampire line. And then, uh, so D, the star, he shows up on his riding in on that horse, boy. Woo! It, yo, I got a question for you. Is that horse a vampire? Nah, he's a robot. It's a robot. Yeah, it's a robot horse. Because okay. the kid took it, and he was like, oh, it's this, this edition, blah, blah, blah. And he was, like, doing maintenance to it. So he was a robot horse. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he didn't hold it. It was riding so smooth. He was just, you know, like, with his coat. 
Mm-hmm. So pretty much, uh, it's pretty much she hires D to uh, try to get rid of the elder, so that uh, she won't have to go through the marriage and stuff. And uh, obviously, and in the process, killed half of her village. Yeah, that village didn't survive, <laughs> but at least the lands uh, was liberated at the end. Yay! But there's no one to work it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, come on, man. It's a it's an anime. All these movies, man. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. And this is outside. If in Game of Thrones they could spawn an army after it get wiped out, in the mm-hmm. anime they could spawn a village. Okay, they get a pass. <laughs> True. All right. So I really enjoyed it, though. It was a breath of fresh air, especially because it's an older one. Um, sometimes you tend to forget. Um, how the art style and the difference, how uh, blatantly like open with all the stuff with the sex, murder, <laughs> everything. Yeah, so, boy. <laughs> so it was definitely fun to sit down and watch that old movie. Uh, uh, it was a great story, man. It was. It was a, it was a solid it was... story. But like I said, you know, like you ever watch an old movie that you know is a good story, but at mm-hmm. the end of the day, it still came out eighties, nineties. So it, <laughs> you could be like. Yeah, it's, it's it's a little dated. It it did date a little bit, but if you've never watched it, I would say go ahead and watch it. So you wanna you wanna give a rating for this? Five, man. Jesus. All right, let me let me let me just save you the trouble because I know you're gonna ask for all of them. Every movie that we talk about today is a five. I know. Characters, story, intro. Uh, Okay, so let me put it this way. Out of all three we're about to talk to, Ooh. which which one? Is it like one, two, or three? You know what I mean? That's a hard that's, question. Yeah, that's a hard little boy. Um, you know what? Let's save that for the end because okay. I want to hear what you have to say about the other two. Right now, I think I know what's number one for me, literally because of one scene. Oh. <laughs> but, but, okay, let's, let's, let's. Let's hit the others. Okay, so that's uh, uh, Vampire Hunter D. Uh, I recommend it if you want to watch a quick movie. It's like an hour, just a little bit over an hour. It's a quick view. Just yeah, remember, like an hour it is, and eight minutes. Yeah, just remember, it's, it's an older anime, so you, the, the the drawing and stuff is old. If you ever watch uh, Fist of the North Star, it's, it's, it's kind of like that. <laughs> it's a little Should have reviewed that. We wanted to. We just wanted to go with uh, three. So next we gonna do Ninja Scroll. Look, that I don't care what nobody say, right? That music is so iconic, B. Like any 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 old any um old school animated person, as soon as they hear that song, they're like, yo, Jube? We're getting a highlight. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, definitely Jube, bro. Yes, uh, Edwin. Yes, man. Uh, it is a different decade. So I, I think a lot of people tend to uh, forget that. Uh, you know, I've I've heard people say, "Well, it's so weird." It's oh, well. I mean, it came out in the eighties, so you, you you gotta you know you don't. You, that's why you say anti eighties montage music with Street Fighter Alpha two, a Street Fighter and two, a Street Fighter Alpha half. Uh-huh. I love that shit, dog. If I could work out to eighties montage music, feel like uh, Rocky. Yeah. Anyway. And I ran. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> so, uh, Ninja Scroll, man. Oh, oh, I had way too much fun with this movie. Oh. All right, you go, you go, you go. Man, listen. <laughs> like the other ones, a different decade, so obviously they showed everything. You want titties? You got titties. You want blood? You got blood. You want cussing? You got cussing. This movie... Is one of those action movies. Like the other one had a, a slower pacing. This one had a little more pacing because there was a lot more fights and mm-hmm. stuff in there. And um, hell of a story. Hell of a story. Um, yeah. You know, there was a lot. There was a love interest in there. And yeah, you had drama. You had drama. <laughs> you had and action. the thing about it. Oh yeah, he, he, I'm, I'm gonna say something about that in a second. But what was good about this one is that this love interest actually felt. A little more organic naturally yeah. yeah compared to vampire d where it kind of felt weird that it just she just started liking the guy this one you can actually see mm-hmm. they progressed through um 
fight scenes were great. Um, there was a lot of good villains in there, especially the final boy uh, with the reincarnation power. Gamma boy. Ooh. Yo. I was like, how the hell? Like, the way you had to kill that dude was like, <laughs> you felt so like, satisfied. That, that was the only option. Yeah. You felt so satisfied. He was beating the shit. Oh. <laughs> Right, so before 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 Sean goes on, uh, real quick, the story of Ninja Scroll is there is this mysterious ninja who's really, really powerful, but he has drifted away from his clan. In the midst of him wandering the lands, he ends up in a battle against one of the eight demons of this, of Koga. Mm-hmm. By him getting involved in that in altercation, he is then roped in into a conspiracy to overthrow the Tokugawa, Tokugawa government. Um, but it's just him, uh, another ninja girl that is also a main star and a main character, and a policeman that is crooked. And all three of them work together in order to overthrow the um, shadow organization that is trying to, to, to uproot this government. Right. Yeah, it's a solid line. Like, especially because at the beginning he didn't want to work with the uh the guy. So the guy like yeah, give a crap because because he 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 thought he had won every since. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he thought the dude was dead. Yeah, until he found out that the guy had reincarnate reincarnation powers. And um, yeah, but <laughs> I was about to say like we can't we can't give out spoilers, but they kind of tried right in the beginning. Dude, this movie <laughs> this movie came out in, this movie came out a while ago though. So to be real. Yeah, but you never know if somebody didn't watch it. It came out in 93. You had time. Spoiler warning. <laughs> Spoiler warnings, okay? Uh, we'll try to be as vague as possible. But, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, it came out in 93. <laughs> uh, yeah, six, oh, 60s movies. I don't even want to talk about that, Edwin. Um, 60s so, movies. Now, he was talking about, like, the pacing between, like, uh, I was scenes. I in uh, two or three seconds. Oh yeah, he's he's the you want to if you want to like talk movies. Oh lord, if you want to talk movies, uh, he works. This is my boy Edwin. If you want to uh-huh. talk movies, movie guy, bro. We kind of like we will be working. Oh, and, we should we should bring him on one day then. Yeah, I told him uh, one day, but right now we focus in on anime. He's yeah. he he's more into like movies. So that's cool. I like movies too. So uh, yeah. Ninja Scroll Mad, bro. There was <laughs> the begin. So this the the main love interest, uh, the ninja girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the definition of poison. <laughs> Yo, there were so many subliminal messages in that one character, I mean, man. Yo. <laughs> uh... First of all, first of all, she was right skinned. Mm-hmm. She wasn't like. The, the typical AFT's olive drawing. She was literally red skin. I was like, yep, there you go. Straight bitch and girl. That's why she killing everybody. <laughs> Man, that dude, that dude, it beginning so he, she gets, uh, she gets, uh, molested. As, 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 as well, I was gonna say she got fight. captured in the beginning. And, oh, dude. So this dude at the, at the beginning, there's this fight scene, all these ninjas are in the forest. And, um, there's this guy, he's made out of rock. Rock hard. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> he straight murders everybody. That's what I'm saying. Like he throws this blade, and it's just cutting people in half. Blood everywhere. It's raining yeah. blood, literally. <laughs> and he captures this girl, and uh, he he pretty much try he tries to, starts to rape her. And uh, old dudes, he's in the corner, and he's like, "Hey, uh, how do you get?" <laughs> while he's while this guy's yeah, straight, <laughs> yeah, like <dude. laughs> while he's straight that- raping this girl. That was the comedic part for me. He genuinely did not care. He was, like, he hey. was just trying to get to the other town. To He's like, uh, I know, I know you're busy, but uh, just just point me in the right direction. Point me in the right direction. <laughs> and the guy's like, <laughs> so the guy like tries to fight him, and then all of a sudden his rock powers start to disintegrate while he's fighting, um, the main guy, and uh, <laughs> so the reason his powers start to disintegrate. Cause that girl got that poison, <laughs> that poison yep. punani. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what Oliver, a- You know, you know, you know. You, watching that a second time. No, it's not my second time. But watching that again, right? Mm-hmm. You know what that remind me of? Remember the night I called you and I was like, "Dog, 
the girl get back it, the pug. <laughs> Pretty much, man. That that was like an STD moment. <laughs> you could you could put like a, a condo placement right there and just be like, hey, "We're protection." Are you gonna die? Yeah, that's that. She you get you get burned. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, whoa, whoa. That's it so, was. But yeah, it was, it was crazy, man. Very good. But like uh, all jokes aside. Uh, Cause they build up and stuff. I, uh, you can see the chemistry between them. This girl's mm-hmm. pretty much suicidal, um, for the most of the point. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, that uh, very solid movie. I, I honestly, <laughs> Edwin, you tripping? <laughs> <laughs> very very solid movie. I, to be real, all the movies here we recommend. I, I'm not even gonna say I recommend you watch it. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and knock it out. Uh. Very good art style, strong characters, uh, good villain. Uh, awesome fight scenes in this one, definitely. Uh, it did come up. Yes. Right. Um, actually, elaborating on that, right? Mm-hmm. Remember um, in episode two when we was talking about Goblin Slayer? These are the kind of women that we, we, we wanted. Like, we, yes, we know Goblins was terrorizing the people, terrorizing the women and, and making them scared, but we also wanted to see somebody who wanted to fight back, who was kind of strong like this woman, like, yo, like, all right, my situation is dire, but I can I can fight as long as I can fight. And um, I, I, th- I think that was really, that was really good to see. I haven't seen that kind of um, female character since. The only two that comes to mind, three, is Thea from Cowboy Bebop, uh, Remy from Black Lagoon, and and Kagero from from Ninja Scroll, Sim Ninja Scroll. Can't really think of anybody else that that is any female character that well, is as tough as them. Well, to me, uh, I thought the uh, the girl from um, Berserk, she the, the the black girl. Mm-hmm. She was she was pretty strong until uh, you know the ending of that movie first first arc uh, again 80s 80s movie though 80s movie yeah yeah i know but you were saying to, i have to watch that I but you you watched. said uh you called out you called her like strong female characters yeah, that, yeah, uh, strong uh, beating you over the head and i was just yeah. bringing up that one because she she was she was a beast man she could hold her own in battle was she? she wasn't annoying you know mm-hmm. but she just got a shitty deal <laughs> From, jeez oh man they, they, Every, everyone everyone's telling me to watch it but well, uh, you gotta watch. There's, there's, there's a couple movies covering that first one with the band of the hawk and stuff. Yeah. There's one that comes out in this weird 3D. Don't watch that. It, it the, the animation is is not. I don't like how the animation is. Mm. I think I, I need to find the the original flow though. Yeah, yeah. So the, the original when he kills the hundred guys in the forest. Hell, fuck. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, but yeah, she's a very strong character too, and uh, that lady from uh. Black Lagoon. Yeah, Remy. Remy. Remy, marry me. <laughs> Both Remy and the um the the, the nun. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, the nun. I almost forgot Valencia. about her. Yeah, she, no. bro. Woo. Waifu. She. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's it for Ninja Scroll. Uh, let's go on to uh. Jinro. Jinro. Ilang. Jinro, man. Yo. Ooh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh. Jinro and the Wolf, the Wolf Brigade, man. Listen. Came on in 90. For anyone who hasn't watched this anime, don't, don't look at the reviews. Um, watch it first. Because some of the reviews were very, I actually like on the on the the forum that I'm a part of. I actually went and read the reviews, and a lot of the reviews are from like younger, stupid well, anime followers. Nah, nah I was just. <laughs> I, I honestly think what happened is a so, lot of somebody people... actually said that um, 
Uh, this could never be as hard as Boruto. They're two different genres, though. Like, why would you compare those? You know what I mean? The I, thing, I, 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 shot, I shot on my laptop. <laughs> You're pissed. What is this madness? Also, <laughs> I think a lot of people, like a lot of people, saw. You know, you see the uh, the um, the the logo, the, the cover page, yeah. and it's a guy standing in the dark with the red eyes with a with a M60 machine gun, and you yeah. automatically think this movie is gonna have a shit ton of action, bro. But really, it's a drama. Yeah, it has action. But it's and a some drama. damn good action. action. Damn good action. It's like a slow build, and then it just, you know, you get a, a spark at the beginning, then it builds on that, builds on that, builds on that, and then it has a, a big explosion at the end. And yeah. uh, there's also a live action um, that came out Watch in both. Tw- 2017. Yeah. Um, on on Netflix. That was probably, you know what? That is probably one of the best live action anime adaptations I've ever like I've seen because we've seen some bad ones Death Note the American version <laughs> the one that came out because well, the Japanese version was pretty good yeah I you know it always suffers from uh, graphic problems but you know but then that yeah, came out a while ago too so see that, that, that came out when Death Note came out as well yeah, so I, I, I didn't wa- I didn't really I started to watch it like Full Metal Alchemist, I was just like, man, I don't feel like watching this. So I, I can't really comment on it because I didn't really watch it. But I did try to watch the American version because I got tricked. I thought mm-hmm. it was going to be a new story. Hey, the guy dropped the book in the United States. Man, they used the same characters. I got instantly pissed, turned that shit off. So he's still sitting and finish watch, continue watching. <laughs> Question for you. Are we allowed to get angry that um, L was black? <laughs> like isn't that like I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care <laughs> yeah I just wish it was a, so black. I, I don't care about the skin color I just wish it was a new story because you do, that story it ended been. because also they, the characters didn't act the way you expect the yeah, like he literally fell in love with the girl like <laughs> what that dude don't care about nobody bro he, he didn't care he was using her you get what I'm saying so, mm. but anyway, that's a different story. We'll talk about that later. Jin, bro. So, go ahead. Give your thoughts, bro. <sighs> one of... Well, which one are we talking about? All right, you know what? No, we talk about the anime. We, we're not talking about live action. Oh, but I want to talk about the live action. They were both so beautiful. But, I'm yeah. going to do both. Okay. One of the best anime movies from that era like you you name it we we watch street fighter we watch street fighter alpha we watch vampire hunter d we watch ghost in the shell um we watched uh ninja scroll like even though jim Rowe was slower than all of those movies it was captivating. Like the story itself was so was so rich that it was like I am not bored, but yet I am not excited. I, I, I am just really intrigued by what is going on here. And then oh my god, like like the beginning the beginning catches you off guard. Cause you're thinking like, okay, general police terrorists yeah all right cool then you see the man open up the gun relentlessly <laughs> like like there was no aiming it was like oh you're in that direction <laughs> you're like oh okay like these dudes have no soul and then um the character development i love the fact that they they implemented the fact that because of what he was doing he was suffering from depression and PTSD. they try to manipulate that, and and, and I thought, oh, that's that's a pretty good, you know, backhand story kind of thing. Like, how long has he been doing this? Like, why why is he the only one that feels this way? And um, you know, just just the fact that with that with that side of the story, you can understand why he 
then went into falling falling in love with the girl because them them boys was strung up, <laughs> isolated by themselves. Pretty much. And then, you know he fell in love with the girl, um, and then the 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 two scenes, man, the, like three scenes of action, and all three was on fire, on fire. The museum scene was amazing. No, I will say I was a bit disappointed when um, they left the museum and they got in the car mm-hmm. because I I watched that and I was like, okay, yeah, all right, cool, he gets away. It was an abandoned building. I understand, 1980 something. Then you watch the 2011. Jesus, Sean. That drop kick through the car window was the smoothest thing I ever see me. Listen. Uh, you talk. Oh, you talk about the live action, right? The live yeah. action part. <laughs> Sorry, right. switch off. Nah, nah, you 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 made a switch there too clean. I was like, wait, drop kick, but then I was like, oh right, right, the live action. All right, <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> just ask us a question for the people in the chat. So, oh, no sorry. questions. Uh. <laughs> Hey, Eleven, how you doing? Uh, she said, how are you doing? So say hi to the adoring fans. And then uh, Edwin, yeah, we, we didn't really talk. We just brushed over it. He was just asking uh, what we thought about the uh, Death Note. Yeah, the, um, the Black L. Nah, I didn't like it. Two, two. My, my, my whole thing about these movies is... is you no. know, no, no. stick stick to originality. Yes, to there are sense. tons of uh, uh, Asian or make a actors. new storyline. <laughs> yeah, that, that, so that was it. That was the frustrating bit for me. If you're gonna bring in new characters, completely away from the story, make your own story. Mm-hmm. We don't care if it's crap. Make your own story. We because it, then it. you could say, "Well, but, I tried to make a new story, and yeah. hey, oh, it didn't work out." But when you try to Adapt Unless something that's Star Wars. Oh Lord, let me... <sighs> Star Wars. <laughs> anyway. uh, the main the problem is when you try to adapt something that's already been, su- especially when it's already been successful, and you try mm-hmm. to change it. They keep trying to change it to fit a certain way, and then it is terrible because everyone expect these characters to act a particular way. Anyway, so now it's my turn to talk about Jinro because you, you, I let you go, bro. I let you go. Yeah, I was done by the drop kick. Yeah, that, oh, that scene, man. I, that that was actually you see that was a situation where they made a slight change to the but to the anime, the but story. it fit. So it's like, hey, we can give him a little more. Because even 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 when they changed the abandoned museum to the to the Tokyo Tower Museum, that still was a, a element of beauty in itself because. No, he's in an enclosed space, and they actually showed how his skills um, worked for his job. And I was like, yo, that's deep. Because it's all glass. Like, usually you will see people hiding behind, like, walls and stuff like that. This one walking, like, walking around glass, just just monitoring people, and I done, I done, I done, I done. And I think Watch uh, the, movie. the, in the live action, the uh, it wasn't in a museum, was it? I thought it. Oh, it was more like a tower, cause he. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, it was but same. but it was like it was a it was a history museum at the top of the tower. At the top of the tower. Okay. So, bro, it just alone the sto- the build up at the very beginning was pretty damn good, especially while there was explaining how there was a lot of unrest and then you know what most uh, mm-hmm. authoritarian uh, governments do is uh, imp- you know push the military but it's because they had this separate session they had to go like hardcore so it, it's also showing that they were trying to transition away from that wolf brigade stuff which mm-hmm. Jinro was a part of so and then he he had the conflicting especially after the incident in the beginning so in the beginning there's a there's a riot and there's they're sitting back and trying to let the local police handle it and there's this and what they do is they use these kids to transport explosives and weapons right so this girl gives this guy this this bag and obviously the bag is a, a IED and <laughs> he just walks up to the to the police whoo, through that hole 
Horrible throw. Horrible. You got to throw it. <laughs> no, you got to throw it into the... Don't throw it in front. It does nothing because they have the shields. You got to throw it... Anyway, not to give sure, people... Man. No, I'm just saying, if you're going to effectively dis disrupt a blockade, throwing it in front does nothing. It's like throwing rocks at a Spartan. You know the Spartan shield? Yeah, but you can't... You can um... Look, man. If you want to be a rebel, be a rebel. Right. Yeah, but it's active, and, man. You can't try fireworks like people are burning them up. I'll do what That's I want. Hey, awesome. <laughs> Eleven, uh, we, we, we're talking about anime. Uh, all classic anime movies here today. So, so pretty much after that happens, chaos ensue. The uh, protesters and the police start fighting. And the terrorists try to... Uh, the, the terrorists try to uh, sneak out through the tunnels below. And then the Wolf Brigade corners them. And, you know, like you, like regular police would be like, freeze! Not the Wolf Brigade, bro. Open up fire with the M60s. Start ripping <laughs> these dudes apart. <laughs> Listen, you probably how me is that. These dudes never run. <laughs> never. But they, they also... Bro. I, I was like, why didn't they try to escape? So this girl that was pretty much uh, carrying around the explosives and weapons for him. Um, what happened is uh, she, she gets cornered and she has one bag with explosives in it. And uh, Jin, Jin, Ro, Jin has her cornered. And any, you know, you, you, don't, want, you don't want to mold on a kid. And that's where the, the internal battle for our main character pretty much goes off because then she pulls the thing blows up half the fucking place and uh so the question is should he have shot her so they have to like send him back to uh retraining and stuff so it, it, it was interesting yeah. to see his like and like Dwayne mentioned earlier he has depression uh PTSD and stuff cause that that girl haunts him so he ends up meeting this girl that looks almost like her her sister, right? She she's not family to her. Oh right, she was yeah, pretending yeah, yeah. To be her sister. All right, so. Yeah, eleven. We like anime. We love it. Yeah, so uh, that was pretty. That was pretty. Uh, that was pretty epic. Uh, so pretty much the story goes from there. Then you find out the, who the girls working for and stuff like that. Um, like I said, there's some great scenes. That that beginning scene. The scene in the museum, the live action mm -hmm. is definitely a better scene because they have the chase scene with the car. Yeah, man, that jump kick. Anyway, that, that drop kick. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, obviously they they changed. I think they changed the ending in the live action. Oh yeah, they had to. They had to. They had to. Netflix was not gonna put that original ending. I'm sorry. I, I like. I'm not a fan of Netflix. And, but I do understand why they do certain things. Like you got kids and, and family yeah, shows and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, that would have been no, bro. If I was if I was that manager, I'd be like, yo, you can't you can't put that. In there. But you gotta admit though, like <laughs> the the way yeah the original ending the original Ooh. ending, great. But it makes it it's um it it makes sense, but it kills the fairy tale uh the fairy tale uh thinking you have you know what i mean that a lot of yeah a lot of mainstream cartoons have you know the happy ever after mm. nah they ain't no happy ever after here bro you got to make a decision do you want and, and and it was perfect because the whole um motto behind it was the story of little ray riding hood the original story by the the was yeah. it the not the german guy the Narina or whatever it is, the, the brothers Wolf Grimm? actually eats the girl, and you mean the depressing Grim brothers, <laughs> right? That and boy he was, was right. That boy was depressing as hell. It, it was it was so funny, like it actually didn't clock on to me, the 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 um the correlation between the story and him. Mm -hmm. So she actually started reciting it at the end, yeah. and I was like, oh snap! Yeah, and I was like, yo. He ain't gonna do it. Nah, man, he ain't gonna do it. And then the man did it. Yeah, they know. They know. They ain't happy for this yeah. movie. He's a wolf. Like... He's a wolf. He's a wolf. And they ain't no, they ain't no lumberjack to come and cut the wolf open. Like how they're mm. doing them in the updated book. 
she gets so and, and, but and in the movie, live action it, it ends differently so it ends yeah, a little more it, happy you know you, you don't get the depressing end that you don't want to see kids watching so it was definitely a really good movie um, yeah they, they were they were both equally good in, the, in their own sense i like the um the fact that in the anime the anime really played on the the soldier mentality because you remember when the 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 commander said like yo you are a wolf and you may not you may not regret it now but later on in life if you don't do something about this now it's going to come back and haunt you yeah. so then he was like you're actually right yeah that is yeah yeah I'm not I'm not get, what if cuz he get, he gave him the ultimatum he said you can leave but what are you going to leave to and, he might, and like you could see it on his face, like, yeah, yeah. He, he, at least he gave him the choice, and it wasn't like forced. You know what I mean? He literally gave him the choice. <clears throat> oh, come <in. laughs> I mean, he probably would have killed both of them if if he had said he was gonna leave. So true. Yeah. So. And um, the ending scene. What did you think about the ending scene with the um? With the the live action against him against the commander, I prefer the anime ending. Me too, but I I I, I thought I thought it was a good. Um, it was okay. I just like the anime ending. It was a good martial arts choreography. Yeah, I mean, it makes it makes sense when you try to push it that direction. It's just like a Shakespeare tale. You expect it to be a tragic, right? So mm -hmm. I kind with especially because with the Red Riding Hood undertone and stuff, I was expecting it to push towards a tragic a tragedy ending. So that's mm -hmm. why I had more appreciation for the anime ending. But mm -hmm. that being said, the live action ending it worked too. It's not like it didn't work. It's not one of those endings that you're like, man, what the hell? Why did they do that? I actually liked it. It's just I personally prefer the anime ending. Yeah. I, I prefer the anime Hey, hey man, you, you, you got to spice it up. You're trying to keep, you know, hey, this is the final moment. The, especially after that scene, in the, the second scene in the sewers when he, whoo, when he, him single-handedly mow down everybody. I, woo. Bruh. Glad you brought that up. One Which man. Which one did you prefer? The live action or the, the anime one? I mean, both of them was like epic, but uh. Yeah, they were both epic. I think I prefer the live action one because it was. It was longer. <laughs> I I just thoroughly enjoyed seeing the Marvel rip apart these people. The live action had more action in it, to be real. Yeah. So, the thing about this is, I watched the live action first. I didn't know there was anime, so let me just say that. So I was like, oh man, what? ooh. But the pacing of the live action is a lot faster. It's a lot faster, so it fit that that the those that scene would have been longer. It had more people getting. Whew. Now for the anime, it it kind of had a different pacing to it. Yeah. So, um, I kind of expected that scene, especially when he started putting the gear on. And then he put the mask on. It just showed the red eyes. <gasps> Whew, you knew he was about to fuck some shit up. And so said, so let it be written, so let it be done. That boy tore them boys up. So, but the the if you want, if you want a live action, if you haven't watched the card, I, you, know, you can watch both because they're they're the same story, they're similar, but you can feel a difference between the anime and the uh, the live action. So, but they're both dramas. Remember that. Yeah. So don't go in there expecting a, you know. Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty. You know, <laughs> you know what? Expect Michael Bay. Explosions. Explosions. So. Uh, no storyline. So, okay. Okay. So. All right. Let's go. So, ranking. One, two, three. Oof. Jim Rogar coming out at number one. Mm hmm Uh. I figured Jim Rowe will come in first. I want to hear what you're going to say for two and three. I got to go with Jubei. 
Should be at number two. Jubal. Ninja Scroll. Yeah. I I you know what I I enjoyed I enjoyed Vampire Hunter D and Ninja Scroll equally, mm-hmm. but I thought that if if so I I give them all I give them all the same rating, but in terms of enjoyment and like literally the same fish reactions that you give it, no like oh that was like ah. it it has to go. Um, General Ninja Scroll Vampire Hunter D because with Vampire Hunter D I watched both of them mm-hmm. I enjoyed the 2001 version a lot better because yeah. it, inter- it introduced a lot more of the vampire lore mm-hmm. and and him being a dumb peel and how a dumb peel has the parasites and stuff like that um, but to me that was more of a continuation kind of story because you can build on that whereas general and general and and ninja scroll like you could end them there yeah and they will still end as classics right whereas vampire hunter he kind of left you like ooh, i need some more so yeah and i i, I got a good general and, and and um ninja scroll one and two what do you think? Uh, pretty much the same. Mm, I put uh, Ninja Scroll at number one, Gen Roll two. And that's just it's not it's not that much big difference. I actually lo- I enjoy swordplay, so uh, I I kind of bump Ninja Scroll up a little bit. Yeah. Um, obviously it was a little more actiony compared to the other two. Mm. Um, so it wasn't like. Oh my! For me, don't get me wrong. I enjoy General. <laughs> like no one's business. I had, I had way of fun watching that. But Ninja Scroll, it just it hit that string, man. I was just like, man, the classic yeah. samurai, you know, yeah. a reluctant hero situation, you know. So, mm-hmm. uh, especially that final fight when he was getting handled by the jeez. I there did. was no other way, man. Like no. I, I, Oh, yes. And the thing is, right? Even that ending, you weren't expecting it, right? Because he he killed him once, he got back up. He killed him again, he got back up. He he take off limbs, the man get back up. Mm-hmm. He split the head open. The man was about to get back up, and you were like, "Yo, like you were about to lose," and then literally, mm-hmm. freaking ninja. <laughs> yeah, well, he was. Dude, when he got hit with the gold and stuff and the melted gold and stuff, mm-hmm. and he started to move again, I was like, "Bro, what in the what in the Lord <laughs> like, of the who Rings?" Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Part that had me too is that when he was sinking to the sea, he was still screaming. Oh yeah, oh so, yeah. I was like, Yo. to be to be real, he probably just got like hearted and casing in the gold, but he not really dead. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it made me think like. If I go to Japan, am I going to go look for this guy? <laughs> <laughs> so that's my top three. Like you said, uh, Vampire Hunter D, even though it was a really, really, really good movie. Um, yep. It is, to me, it did come across a bit dated. Um, and that that force, that love, that force love, even though it was more out of, oh my God, help me, I mm-hmm. think I love you <laughs> situation. But uh, yeah, not to knock any of them. They're still high caliber anime. I recommend all three to anybody that uh looking for a good movie to knock out. But uh for me it's Ninja Scroll, Genro, and uh and then uh Vampire Vampire Hunter D Dampier. So, alright, so that's it for the the reviews of the classic movies. There's a lot of classic movies out there. Kite, Street Fighter the both Street Fighters, not the live action. What's Kite about again? Uh it was about this uh girl that was like an assassin and uh it's 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 not that good. It's not that good. Uh, mm. She was an assassin. Uh, she used to work for this guy that was a detective. Mm-hmm. But uh, he used to, they used to have these kids commit uh, murders and stuff. So she fell in love with another assassin dude. And but uh, it yeah it's okay. It was not the best of the movies. I just brought it up because it was one that I watched. But I didn't even tell you about it because I was like yeah. <laughs> Especially the I, end. I, I might have to give it a watch. Uh, no, give it a watch. I'm just saying that I didn't tell Perfect you. Blue was another good one. Yeah. 
Uh, that one's on uh, Amazon Prime. Was it? Yeah, it's on Amazon Prime. Okay, yeah. So, so check that out. Um, uh, Perfect Blue was another good one. Uh, Straight for the Alpha. Kira. Ah, oh, Kira. <laughs> I mean, how, how can you like anime and not know about Akira? That's why we didn't even talk about it. Like, that one was so popular. Yeah, because it's so common. It's, it's like so, the first mm-hmm. anime movie everyone watches. You know, that I think I think it was the first anime movie that um, was mainstreamed as well. Yeah, because then after that they had the uh, oh man, what what is those? I can't remember the name of those animes. They had like a whole bunch that started. A... Nausicaa, the win. Um, yeah, yeah, Cold yeah, Castle, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when that's when all of them started good. spiking. Yeah, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like after Akira came out, like all of them yeah, started, it started trending. Yeah, it started they trending. They were so good. They were so good. My boy I, I, that I think bike. because I'm from that older generation, I really appreciated the detail and art as well. Mm-hmm. It was it was, oh, yeah, it that, was beautiful. It was, it was dude, totally those animes good. hit different because then they they remember they had a lot of TV shows, TV yeah. anime. Well, not TV, but like series anime that started uh hit like that. Uh, Cowboy Bebop stuff like that. It just hit different yeah. back then, man. It hit different. Yeah, bro. Yeah. So my boy Edwin. If you think he he was uh after episode one, <laughs> he, we were talking, <laughs> and he was like, "Dude, I don't, even, I don't even like anime, man." But I listened to y'all show, and yeah, I was like, "Bro, I could give you some, I could give yeah. you, I could give you some, uh, you know, some good ideas and stuff to watch." Everyone's different. I know a guy yeah. that likes nothing but those slice of life anime, you know, where it's really boy meets girl, you know, school life, you know. She's My wife white, likes those. She, well, she likes by a pillow. <laughs> she likes Goblin Slayer type of stuff, fantasy stuff. And everyone has it. The good thing about it is there's a wide variety of different types. Yeah. To fit you, you know, if you a perf and you want to watch <laughs> etchy <laughs> harem, where it's like one dude and like fifteen women beating the hell out of this guy, more power to you. Um, if you prefer spy stuff, Bounty Hunter. There's space. There's mecha. I went through a mecha. Phase. I went through a, a, oh, a trigun. Yeah, I went through a mecha phase uh, for a little bit. You know, when I hit that Gundam mm-hmm. wing, still one of the best mecha animes of all time. I don't care what nobody the says. The only but. best mecha anime. Oh, you know, my, my, right, my so, boy so, Darnley so, like uh, G Gundam. Well, uh, <laughs> his name is Edwin, right? Yeah, Edwin. I call him Ed. So, all right, Ed. You uh, we we suggest I uh, let me let me correct myself. I suggest you watch any anime that meets your fancy, but you only watch Gundam Wing and just stop. Shut up. Just just stop. <laughs> I think I had given him I had given him some uh, recommendations or stuff to watch. He uh, said he appreciated Akira. I, I, you know what? Seeing as how he would like movies and stuff, I can see why he would appreciate Akira. Um. Yeah, Akira was dope. I watched Death Note and then stopped. Yeah, I can see why you would do that too. <laughs> Death, Death, Note, Death Note is legendary, bro. Hey, I am. I every time we talk about Death Note, I will always say I have never seen a movie about writing like that. That 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 it was so captivating. I see a dude hit. Bro, there's a scene. Where, remember that guy? He like does. He signs the name and ends up on the other side of the room. Mikami. Mikami, bro. Oh. That was the best signature of all time. Imagine you're in a bank and you sign something like you that. I was just about to say, so you remember when we were trying to do see a crap? We were silly. You'd be at school like... <laughs> yeah. And that's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, so anime movies you have patience for, but series you have less patience for. In that case, um, I'd say check out Jinro. You might really like that. If you liked Kira... Uh, Jinro has that same kind of pacing with iconic action scenes that, that are really, really good. Top tier potato chip and eating. Just sit down, watch it. <laughs> sit down, eat it, soak it in, and then walk off. Uh, I'm trying okay. to think of another so, great movie. Uh, okay, go ahead. So this will be your recommendation because we're we going to just do one. Because you watch anything this week that you want to spill about real quick before we wrap up? Um... Paranoia Agent. Paranoia Agent. Okay. 
Yeah, see, seeing as how we were seeing like the 80s movies kind of thing, I kind of went back to some old school anime, like that, Ram the One and a Half, and it, it's so sad, but I was watching Curry Captain Sakura again. I remember you told me that at the beginning. Oh, okay. Nothing's wrong with that. Good. Car Captor Sakura, man. Wow. Hell hood, man. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, what was it again? Agent? What? Paranoid Agent? Paranoid Agent. Okay. Um, this week, I watched on a random, well, not random selection, but a, a show called uh, Seraph, Seraph of the End. Apparently, it was produced by Universal. Uh... It's pretty good. It's about vampires. Is that the one with the vampires? Yeah, yeah, the vampires uh, versus the humans, and it's based. Well, this particular thing is based in Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, Japanese demon army trying to fight back. What, what did you What did you think about it? Uh, it was okay. Uh, it's one of those situations where the hero is at some points a little OP. Too, not OP because he gets uh, whoop a couple times, and he has. He's, he's a hero. It's a typical hero story, but uh. There was a there was a part that is like you want to save somebody so bad that it kind of puts teammates in jeopardy. In jeopardy, and yeah. uh, it's almost over the top. Like there was a scene where they had to leave a guy, they had to leave the leader behind because they were getting straight handled by a, a royal vampire, mm-hmm. and uh, and we we get it, you know, you you you're strong. We, he got like special powers and stuff, but but you can't you can't. As a, in a team fight, you can't all the time sacrifice everyone around you for one mm-hmm. person. Because then if you save that one person, but you lose ten others, did you really accomplish anything? You got to be strategic about it. So it started to get annoying, like parts like that. But I think it's the animation is pretty quality. It's a, a strong story. Um, if you want a quick thing, it's uh, 24 episodes. Um, like I said, Universal actually helped produce it. So it's... It, it, the, Audio, the fight I think stuff. that was the last year that they created um, long form anime series. Yeah, they, they didn't do anything after that. But uh, uh, so, Sarah, for the end, uh, if you want a little quick something to watch series, I'll, I'll give that a try. It's, it's actually pretty quality. Uh, mm-hmm. Outside of those couple gripes, um, so good fight scenes, very good animation, and uh, it's, it pretty much goes on the vampire thing, like Vampire D. Does the the same genre type thing if you into vampire stuff? Uh, do, yeah. These vampires don't sparkle. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, so that that's what I watched this week, series wise. Outside of all the movies that be uh pretty much knocked out. Yep. Uh, so we have come. No sparkle, no boy. <laughs> we have come to the end of another. Se- <laughs> you know what? That, that, okay, no sparkle, no boy. Uh, I'm glad you said that because we should rant about that next week. What? You mean Twilight? Um, yeah, Sparkle Bunny and, and Nipple Boy. <laughs> I'm not talking about the damn Twilight. I would rather rant a whole episode about Star Wars. I bring Edwin on. <laughs> <laughs> Edwin! You want to talk Star Wars next week, dog? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't mind. That would be interesting. I'll, pur- I'll purposely. <sighs> oh, we wait, yo, yo. Listen, this, this is this. We gonna week. wrap up here, but I just want y'all to know when last. Hell yeah, when last, <laughs> when last Jedi came First out. Guest. <laughs> when last Jedi came out, I was in Iraq, and Disney brought special screening. To us, so we waited in line outside in the hot ass desert to go to watch Last Jedi. Now, that sounds so bad. <laughs> it doesn't sound bad at the beginning because we didn't watch the movie yet. So we go in and we're watching this thing. They're like, "Hey, if you check onto your seat, there's a special care package. You know, uh, we want to show our support to the troops." Yada yada yada. I said, "Oh, cool." So you know, pull up. Um, only some people had. I didn't, I didn't get a care package. I didn't really care. And the movie started. Um, the movie ended, and you know that like, usually, like a mo- some movies, like movies like that, they end a year. Everyone's like, "Wow, man!" Like literally, when the movie landed and the lights came on, everyone was just like, "Go!" 
they literally everyone in the crowd was just like uh, so <laughs> and then we had to leave <laughs> in the hot ass desert <laughs> I catch the bus to the other side of the base, and we were all confused, bro. Like, we were just like, how did you feel about that movie? Like, no one had, you know, usually you leave a movie, and you either, oh, that movie's trash, or, oh, my God. Like, no one knew what to say. It was like, hey, can you give or, it a Or even some in the middle. Yeah, like, like, we were just. I don't really get it, but it was enjoyable. Bro, like, I was like, man, can they release a, another movie while it was deployed? <laughs> <laughs> so that's my story about being in the desert. Uh, uh, I catch you that that last Jedi Star Wars, and then all I'm right. Just... So what we, 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 we doing next week? Star Wars or, or Sparkle Bunny and Nimple Boy? I'm not talking about that, dude. Because I have no interest. I, in I want to rant about it. I don't mind. I, I'll happily rant about Twilight. It's gonna be a solo yeah. show because I have no interest in that. I gotta at least have interest in the topic. So I guess we go to Star Wars then. Yeah, uh, we'll probably... Or, or we could do, um... Actually, you... You guys should choose. We have Star Wars. We have, um... If you say Nipple Bunny one more time. <laughs> Lord of the Rings? <laughs> uh, I mean, I have no gripes with Lord of the Rings. Except the... the it's a great movie, the but Hobbit, I, 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 got was, some, I got some... The Hobbit was on. a little too long. But, uh... Sparkle Pedo and what? the Moth Reaper. <laughs> Somebody agree! Oh yeah, he, he 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 agrees. Bro, trust me, man. You want somebody to talk that crap with? Uh, Edwin will. <laughs> I refuse to talk about it. He'll bring it up at work when we was working in the office, and I'll be like, Nah. He's trying to it. tell me like three whole movies and no director or assistant who go, bro, just shut your mouth. Like you you have no lines in this scene. Why are you like this? But you 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 know why they won't change anything? Because they had did, at the end of the day, the movies were successful monetary wise, and they had that crowd, man. They had that crowd. Oh my god, team! Blah. You know, so it wasn't targeting you, Dwayne. It wasn't for you. It wasn't for you, Edwin. It wasn't for me. <laughs> my mom loved it. My mom. Oh my god, Twilight. I was like, mom, you like? Does your Does your mom like Fifty Shades of Grey as well? I like Transformers, dog. Don't talk shit about that shit. Huh? <laughs> nah, she 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 uh said, and I quote: "If that was a broke guy, he would be going it to prison." It would have been different. He would have been going to prison. He's a stalker. She didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Um, my stepmom, I think, liked uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, the book. Yeah. Even though he had like a lot of bad grammar and stuff, from what I heard. Anyway. It's so bad. So next week, what we're going to do? We're going to probably then, if we're going to throw in a movie section, because we try to keep it a little animated here. On this one, yeah. we're gonna split the show and probably talk about uh, an anime series at the beginning to fulfill our anime quota, <laughs> and then mm -hmm. uh, we'll bring on we'll bring on Edwin as a guest, and uh, we'll let let y'all boy we'll let everyone go off about the uh, how many how many was the main storyline nine nine movies it's nine Ooh, movies uh, so Star, Star Wars, Wars the, the main move the main storyline not the not counting the expanded stuff. Um, the first uh, episode one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, nine. It was nine yes. movies. Yeah. So, all right. It's fun as always. I will see y'all next week between eleven, eleven thirty. Bye. <laughs> Woo!